Hi and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. Today's project is we're going to be installing this closet pole in a laundry room on the wall up here so that we can hang clothes on that on that pole to dry or to keep from wrinkling or whatever the case may be. So we went to our local big big box store and we picked up the hardware to install it. Don't pick up the plastic. The plastic is a waste of your money and it's just going to cause you frustration. Spend a few bucks more, get one that's made of metal, and that way you're not going to have any problem with it whatsoever. All right, a couple things you need to know before you put that pole up there. One, you're going to need to know if there's a stud in this wall over here. Because when you read the directions on the back of this packaging here, it tells you ideally it should be screwed into a stud. If it's not screwed into a stud, then you need to use something called drywall anchors or mollies or whatever you want to, to call them by. This is what they look like. And I'll show you how they work if we need them, which I don't think we're gonna because I did, to, I did put a stud detector on there and I believe we are gonna hit the stud at least twice, maybe three times. We'll see how it goes. All right, so enough talking. Let's get up here, let's measure where we want to put it, and then we're going to get this job done. All right, then we'll cut the pole, put it up, and we'll be all set. First thing we're going to do now is we're going to determine where we want the, the uh, pole, how many inches out from the cabinets. We're going to go probably about 12 inches because we have a hanger here for, uh, for demonstration purposes to give you an idea of how far out that pole should be away from the uh, cabinets here themselves. All right, I will tell you this, this stuff up here is not a paid endorsement. It just happens to be products that I have in the background. So it's not a paid endorsement. It's just something that happens to be up on there while I'm working. All right, so first thing we're going to do now is we're going to grab our stud detector and we're going to see where the stud is in the wall. Now, I will tell you this before you put this the uh, rod up here the uh, let's turn this up a little bit so before we put this rod up here we want to make sure that we clear the doors themselves so we want to see how far down the doors are and as you can see the door itself is about 14 inches to the from the ceiling to the top of the door is about 14 inches so being that the rod itself is a uh, the pole is about a two inch diameter we're going to go up about 12 inches so we have a little bit more height uh, to clear the, uh, the, the closet door if it's opened. All right, so we're gonna come down 12 inches and that's where we're gonna mount our, our uh, bracket on the wall right over here. So let's open up the packaging and we'll see what you get inside here. There's two different, two different, uh, two different type cleats that mount on there. One is a solid piece and the other is a a U-shape for the pole to fit in. This one mounts permanently on the wall, and this one mounts permanently also, but the rod slides in and out through the top right here. All right, so let's open it up, take our stuff out, and let's get started. Don't lose your screws because you're gonna need them. Okay, so we're going to take this part of the bracket here and we're going to mount it on this part of the wall over here. So, all right, so let's, uh, let's measure it out and let's get started. To take our bracket, we're going to bring it up onto the wall right here. We're going to go from here down 12 inches. So that's where we're going to mount. That's where we're going to mount our bracket. We're going to put a little mark right here. Okay. Now we're going to take our stud detector and we're going to see if a stud is in that location. Okay, so we're going to hit a stud with one screw. Possibly two. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to take a very, very small drill bit and we're going to make a pilot hole just to see if there's a stud behind where those screws are going in. All right, so let's, uh, let's do that. So now that we have determined where our holes are going to be, we're going to drill a very small pilot hole just to see if there's a stud behind it. So we're going to drill very easy right here, just like this. 
and we'll see if there's a stud back there. Now there, there is a stud. So we have a stud right there that we're going to be drilling into. So we're going to drill a very small hole into the stud as a pilot hole for the screw. All right, we'll test our next one here. Let's see if we have a stud here. Now there you can see there is no stud behind there. All right, so there we're going to need a drywall anchor. And we'll do our third hole right here to see if we have a stud there. And there is no stud behind there as well. All right, so we have one stud here, and these two do not have a stud behind it. So we're going to use drywall anchors to hold this in. And the way you do that is you take your drywall anchor and you determine what size hole you're going to need to install it. Now a lot of times it'll tell you on here what size drill bit is required. And it does tell you right on the side right here that you need a 3 16 drill bit in order to install this. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to grab our 3 16 drill bit. We have our 3 16 drill bit now. Now if you, didn't, if you didn't see what size drill bit is required, you could take your, your set of drills, take your anchor, put it in here like that, and you want to have it fit really tight into the, open, into the hole you're going to drill. So that's how you would tell what size anchor uh, what size drill bit you need for a particular anchor. All right, so let's put our 3 16 drill bit in the drill. Now remember, it's this one and this one that need the anchors. So we're going to drill it very slowly. We'll do this one. Same thing. Okay. Then we take our anchor, put it on the wall right here, put it as far as it can go, and tap it in until it's flush, just like that. Same thing on this one. Okay, now remember this one we don't need it because this one we hit the stud. Okay, so the next thing we'll do now is we're going to take our screws that usually comes provided with it, of course. Take our bracket like this, put it up here just like that. We're just going to catch it very loosely for now. And we'll get our other two screws in there. catch a third one. I would recommend not using a power drill because sometimes with the power drill you have the tendency to over tighten it and you wind up stripping out the drywall anchor and then you'll have to replace the anchors with new ones and you run into a whole bunch of other problems. So screw it in by hand. This one we know we're screwing right into a stud which is good because we know a stud is the best thing to screw it into. It's the strongest part. Okay, and we'll tighten these down. Okay, and our one cleat is now on the wall. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the exact same thing we did here on this side over here. So let's continue over there. Okay, so we're going to make our measurements. And once we're confident we have our measurements correct, we'll put a mark on here. Okay, we have our three marks. Now, if you remember correctly, we drilled up here just to make sure where the stud was located. So let's do that. Very small hole, remember. We're checking to see if there's a stud behind it. Nope, no stud there. No 
now stood there. And here we hear the stud. We drill a very small pilot hole in here so that the screw can screw into it. Now the two that require the mollies, we're going to drill those out to the 3 16 nice and slow. Okay, those are the two for the mollies. And you remember how to put the mollies in, we just take them, push them into the hole right here, just like this, tap it. Same thing here. Okay, take our bracket. And we're going to mount it up there. Remember, you're just catching them loosely for now. And we're going to come back and we're going to tighten them in a minute after we have all three of them in. And now once we have all three of them caught, we can just push the bracket on the wall and screw it in by hand. Again, you don't want to use any kind of power tools. You don't want to strip anything. Okay, so both of our brackets are now on. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to measure from here to there, and we're going to cut the pole and put the pole up. So now that we have the rod cut to the proper length, we're going to fit it in there and make sure it fits properly. I will tell you this, make sure that you measure twice, cut once, because you can't cut it to make it longer. You can always cut it to make it shorter, but you can't cut it to make it longer. All right, so let's fit this in here where it belongs. On this end, it fits right in. And this end fits right in and that's it our clothing pole is now finished um, just make sure you get in the stud try to get one of the studs at least one of the three screws should be into a stud. if not the mollies will work just as well all right this job is done and we're on to the next one all right so that's it our pole is up we know that now it's not going to not going to interfere with hitting into here it's nice and it's got plenty of distance and the best thing is you open your door and it doesn't hit anything up top here. So make sure you make all of your measurements before you install the pole. There's nothing worse than putting the pole in only to find out that when you open the cabinet it's going to hit it and interfere with it. So make your measurements first before you do any kind of drilling or installing of anything. That's it. This job is done. We're on to the next one. All right. If you like this video and you want to be notified of future uploads, make sure you subscribe. When you subscribe, hit the little bell and turn on the notifications and you'll be notified of any future uploads that I put up. And usually I, I upload one or two a week. All right. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.